It takes a very long time to become a doctor. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a very long time. Now, if you want to look at the timeline, this requires four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, three years of a subspecialty training, such as internal medicine. But that three years sometimes can be as much as eight years if you want to do something like um, neurosurgery. I'm a cardiologist. So how long did it take me? Four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, three years of internal medicine residency, and then afterwards is an additional three years of general cardiology. For a lot of people, they may want to subspecialize afterwards. They may want to become even more specialized within the field of cardiology. You can do things such as interventional, electrophysiology or pacemakers. You can do imaging. You can do heart failure. You can do congenital disorders. So you're looking at a minimum of 14 years to become a cardiologist, sometimes even longer, 15 to 16 years if you want to subspecialize into it. But that's not one thing I want to focus on. I want you to focus on the journey. I want you to focus on the end goal. A lot of people have so much fear because they think about the process. We're talking about 14 to 16 years to get to where they want to be. And they let that be a deterrent. They let, they let that deter them from reaching that goal. But I'll be completely honest, each and every step that I have taken to be where I am right now, it felt like time was just moving as fast as it could. Medical school was long, but it also flew by. Residency was pretty short and cardiology fellowship was a blink of an eye. So think about that end goal. Think about that thing that you want real bad and don't let that timeline that it takes to get there deter you from reaching your goals. I believe in you. Drop a comment if you want more information about the journey of becoming a cardiologist and I'll see you in the next video.